all right you're welcome back again you're welcome to elohim koinonia and we've been looking at some very important lessons that will help you build this fellowship with god that we're talking about see something has happened to you you have become born of god god has given birth to you because you accepted the sonship offer which jesus christ paid for and so your spirit changed from a human spirit to an elohim spirit and that qualified you to now become part of the elohim family partake of the elohim koinonia and that's where god wants you to be all right and in that koinonia one of the very tangible and important experience that god wants you to have is that fellowship with the father the head of the elohim the father himself having conversation with him and god has given us the spirit his spirit the holy spirit to help us to come into this fellowship and god wants you there now today i'm going to share with you the vision of elohim in another way so that you can understand what we are really after and what we are doing and what god is really really after and why you are in this right now i want us to pray father i pray that you give us understanding wisdom and clear perception and conception of your perfect will write the vision in the heart of the listener in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit for your help in jesus name amen all right we call this elohim koinonia and that we are elohim koinonia all right but there is an elohim koinonia and it's, it's it's something that you understand if you understand the meaning of the two words because there are two words from two different languages put together the word elohim is an hebrew word the word koinonia is a greek word so you can imagine two words from two different languages pulled together and is describing something that had been from eternity past that continues and that one time the people who are in that koinonia or that fellowship decided look we want to have more in this fellowship and who are the people that were in that fellowship the father the son and the holy spirit the father the word and the spirit now the word elohim let's understand that word the word elohim is an hebrew word like i said is a plural hebrew hebrew word and literally it means gods all right because it's plural Eloha, which is a, a, a singular word for, for God, is singular. It means God. But when you say Elohim, is God's. So if, if we read Genesis in chapter 1, again, because the word Elohim is there. All right? It, mean, it, mean, it reads in English, it reads, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. But if we are to read it with the actual meaning of the word Elohim, it means in the beginning God gods created the heavens and the earth and then genesis 1 26 will mean and god said let us make man all right so it's 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 the combination of more than one person that made the heaven and the earth and we know that because even god himself revealed to us in the scriptures in the book of john look at john chapter 1 the bible says john chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word the word was with God. The word was God. So the word is different, but it's also God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. All right, so that means he was involved. The word was involved. How do we know the word was involved? Because God spoke to create everything. God spoke. And where was he speaking? The word. So that's why the word was a part of it. And who is the one that supplies the power? The Spirit is the one that supplies the power when God speaks. So the Father speaks the word Jesus and the Holy Spirit supplies power. That's how they create. So the three of them were involved. So God, Elohim, created the heaven and the earth. Now the word koinonia is from the word, uh, from, is, an, is a Greek word. So that word means fellowship. It's a fellowship that is talking about People coming together to interact, have conversation, discuss, share things that they need for strength, for expression and power, and participate in matters that concerns themselves. That's the meaning of that word koinonia, fellowship. So Elohim koinonia is talking about the fellowship 
of the gods, the fellowship of the Elohim, the fellowship of God, the fellowship of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the fellowship of the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. Now, what is the vision that these people have, these persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? What was their vision? Their vision are three, and that's what I want to run through right now. Their vision are three things. One, they wanted to expand the Elohim family. It's just three of them since eternity passed. And don't forget, I keep calling them Father, Word, and Spirit because they have to change the word and give him another title, so to say. And that's the title of sonship. Why? Because they wanted more sons. If they wanted more word, they would have just multiplied him. But they wanted more sons, so they made him son, so that whoever he combines with or joins with, they will multiply those people as their sons. So if Jesus had joined with lions, lions will have become sons of God. If Jesus had joined with all the stones and the mountains, the stones and the mountains will have become sons of God. But Jesus became one with mankind. Hallelujah. He took on body because he didn't have a body before. The only thing doesn't have a body. The father doesn't have a body. It's only Jesus has a body. So Jesus' spirit took a body to become one with us so that we can become sons of God. Why? They wanted to expand the Elohim family. And that's very important to see. That's number one vision. Number two vision of the Elohim is to expand the Elohim koinonia. The fellowship of the gods, they wanted to expand it. So they said, these ones that are going to be sons, they must be like us. So they decided to give birth to us so that we can be gods like them. So when you give yourself to their agenda, when you accept their sonship, what you actually accepted is that they will give birth to you. And they give birth to you. So your spirit changed because they gave birth to your spirit. Remember, God is a spirit. Your spirit changed from human spirit to an Elohim spirit so that you can qualify to be in the Elohim koinonia. That's it. That's it. That's number two. Number three thing that was in the vision of the Elohim is that they wanted to expand the Elohim kingdom. They wanted their kingdom to spread. Their kingdom is called the kingdom of heaven. That's why the prayer they told us to pray is that kingdom come. They want their kingdom to be here on earth. They want the way things are done in heaven to be done on earth. They want earth to be as rich as heaven is. Look at heaven. The streets of heaven are paved in gold. Instead of quota that we use here on earth or paving stones that we use here on earth, they paved there in gold. God wants earth to be as rich as heaven, to be as healthy as heaven, to be as pure as heaven, to be at peace as heaven is at peace. They wanted the extension of their kingdom to earth. And guess what? They want to do it through us. That's why Jesus gave a command when he was living. He said, occupy till I come. So we are expected to make all his enemies come down to his feet and establish their kingdom on earth. Their way of doing things, their way of running government, their way of running business, their way of running family. That's what they want on earth. So they wanted to extend the Elohim kingdom to earth and fulfill what is written in Revelation chapter 11 verse 15. I'll read it to you. He said, and the seventh angel, Revelation 11, 15, and the seventh angel sounded and there was, there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ and he shall reign forever and ever. This is the vision of the Elohim, of the Elohim koinonia. They want you to be part of the Elohim family. They want you to be part of the Elohim koinonia so you can partake of their divine nature, their divine potency and manifest like them and have opportunity to fellowship with the Father. They want you to extend their kingdom. This is what we stand for and this is what we are doing. And you are welcome to Elohim koinonia. In the next lesson, I'll take you further. God bless you. See you next time.